We just received delivery of our smart welder. What this video is going to be on is basically assembling it. It came in four different pallets. So uh, we've already put this together, so I'm going to go over kind of the problems that we had putting it together right now. Uh, like I said, it's already out there put together. Um, the video is going to show you how to put it together, but we're going to kind of cut to the problems that we had. Um, first, let's just describe what this smart welder is. It is a Lincoln PowerWave S350. Um, the things that it comes with, it's got a separate wire here that goes on the very top, power supply that kind of goes in the middle, a water cooler that goes in the very bottom, and then a push-pull gun uh, that attaches to the wire feeder. One thing that we screwed up on, the, this, this welder does all kinds of neat stuff. There's so much stuff that it does that I can't even list it. One thing that it does, it does AC MIG welding. And a lot of people are going to say AC MIG welding, that doesn't exist. Well, it does with this unit. We purchased part number 4185-1, advanced process one pack. Um, when we got it, we put it all together and we discovered that we were missing the AC MIG welding part. You have to order this part number, 4192-1, it's an advanced module for the AC component. So if you want it to do AC, you've got to make sure you buy this as well as this. The um, point of the AC is to make it so that you can weld really, really thin aluminum. Uh, so the thing that we're going to show you out there is missing this right now, but we did order it and it's going to be on the way. We'll eventually put it back, put it into the, it's going to go in between the cooler and the power supply and we'll uh, get that going. I'm not going to get into all the specifics of what it does. We're going to have a bunch of videos after um, we get this one done showing a lot of the capabilities of this thing. If you want to look at the capabilities of it, just look up this part number and it's going to have all the specifications and things that it does. All right. So for right now, we want to focus on the problems we have assembling this thing. It didn't assemble too bad, but it was uh, you know one of those things you want to get to use it. You got a new piece of equipment, so I got a little frustrated in the, in the middle of this. but. Uh, this is the wire feeder, and a kind of sketch that I did, I know I'm not the best artist, but uh, uh, for the most part you can see what's going on here. Uh, this is the gun coming out here, these are the drive rolls going to the gun. Uh, one thing that we had a huge problem with um, were the wire lines. Let's start with the bracket. The bracket, uh, this thing sits on a bracket that goes above the power supply. That's what this is right here. All right. It has quick connects for the water lines, so you can pop them on and off. Uh, that's what this is, and that's what this is in the back. Um, we bolted this thing down first. That was a mistake. Don't bolt this down to the brackets because you won't be able to get your water lines in. Uh, the other thing is this little lip in the front hits these, so you can't bolt it down. Not with the holes that they have provided you anyways. So what we're going to do is kick this back, probably drill our own holes so that we can still you know, have this attached to the bracket and so it doesn't fall off or anything. Um, the water lines were a bit of an issue. This is where we got a little frustrated. You'll see in the video, uh, it's not the best video, I started getting a little agitated. But anyways, uh, you have to put these uh, quick connects on the front first. And it comes in this right here. There's a piece of plastic and it fits right in nice. And that wasn't an issue. That goes right in the front, right here. There's two of them in the packet, however. The other one looks just like this as well. And it kind of looks like it fits right here. But what happened was, there's a little lip where it doesn't quite fit. So I'm out there trying to modify this, grind it, grind it. Um, and eventually I got enough to where it fit into the space, but these two holes didn't line up with the holes in the back. So I realized that you have to take these two quick connects out and just put them in the hole. So that's, a, that's an issue we had. So take it right off this bracket and just put the two quick connects here. The main problem we had was taking a water line from here to here. There's a piece of plastic in here that goes to the back of the machine. You got to take that right out. This little gap right here, oops, I smudged it. Um, there's a gap from the bottom of the wire feeder to send these tubes under, like right in here. The problem is fishing them through. The reason we had so many problems was because we attached this to the plate. So we detached that, and then we could get a little bit more of a gap in there to get the water lines out here. Now, the other problem we had was the water lines were longer than we needed, so we coiled them in the bottom and connected them here. Problem with that is, once we got the wire in, it was hitting the coil. So you have to actually cut the water lines and attach them in here. You'll see it when we go into the video, um, actually at the machine of what I'm talking about. 
But for now, let's go out there and uh, we'll show you uh, how to assemble this thing. All right, this is our what, it, what got shipped to us for the Lincoln Powerwave 350 AC aluminum welder. And you can see it comes with a lot of stuff. First pallet is a cart. It's the first thing we're going to assemble here, and then we're going to start putting this thing together. Here's your power source. Uh, over here you have um, wire feeder, or a gun, I believe coolant, and that's a water cooler. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and um, get the cart assembled. I don't think I've ever had a welder come with that much baggage, tons of uh, stuff here. So we're going to start putting together that uh, cart. Now right, we got the uh, cart assembled. The next part of this is you're going to put the water cooler on the bottom of the cart. And it says important water cooler on the bottom of the cart, probably because if it leaks, it won't go on anything electric. So we're going to put the cooler on. We just mounted the water cooler and it just slid in some slots. And you can see on the top of it, there is more slots. So now your power supply goes on top of that. So we're going to add that next. We just mounted the power source above the uh, water cooler. There's a 110 plug on the back of the power source. You can plug the water cooler in there. Next, there's another tray that goes above that. So we're going to put that tray on and then we'll uh, mount the wire, wire feeder. This is a tray that goes above the power source. There's a, a slot in the back that raises it up. So you undo four bolts, tighten that down. Now we're gonna put the wire feeder on the tray. We got the wire feeder on the top now. We actually probably should have attached the wire feeder to the plate before we put the plate on. So don't do that if you're doing this. Uh, now we're gonna get um, all our leads hooked up. So we're gonna hook up the uh, water cooler leads uh, put the gun on, things like that, and we'll check back after we do that. So we just put the gun in to the drive rolls, and then we're going to loop around here to the front. Then we put that electrical connector in the bottom one, and right now below that, that plate there comes out, and then we're going to put those quick connects in for the water cooler. So I'll show you once I get that put in what it looks like. Okay, we just found the aggravation portion of this. You have to put these stupid little quick connects in here. And there's hoses that go underneath everything. I'll go to the other side now and we'll look at that. And they don't quite fit. This is the inside of the machine. What we had to do is there was a plastic plate right around there where all them wires are. And underneath it, you see them hoses? You have to run them under that and then into a quick connect that's on the back. If you tighten the thing down to the plate, you're going to have to take it off because we just had to do that because it didn't have enough room. It, it squeezed it too much. Let me show you the back. And I'll, and I'll show you what I was talking about with the quick connects. All right, these are the quick connects on the back. It comes with a little plate on it. You don't need the plate. They don't tell you that in the directions, but you don't. So you just put that through, thread it. There's your quick connect to the back. So now we're going to connect all this stuff to the water cooler. All right, we just put the plate back in, and you can see the hoses. It barely fits out that bottom thing. What? A pain that was so now we're going to go ahead and connect the front and there's a special little nut that goes on to get it into the quick connects so we'll go to that all right these are the quick connects on the back all hooked up we're going to go to the front where we ran into yet another problem this is the front of the machine and as you can see we're looking down here you are not going to be able to get that to go in there without hitting this lip. So we are going to have to readjust something. We're just going to take it, unhook it from the tray, move it back for now, and worry about it later, I guess. 
All right. We're at stage I don't even know anymore. It's taking us a while. But anyways, we got those hooked up. And that thing's just sitting there. It's not bolted down anymore. Going down the machine here. We just put that in the negative terminal. That is your ground. Let me see if I can get over here. That is your quick connects right there coming out of the uh, water cooler up through there to the back then go up here into the back of this um, wire feeder then through the wire feeder out there so all that's hooked up anyways the water system and everything uh, now we just have this random cable here coming out of the back if you see it it's going up and coming out of the wire feeder so we're looking to where we're going to hook that up it's probably going to a positive lug somewhere but we're going to check that out okay the cord coming out of the back of the wire feeder goes down through that hole comes down through here and this is kind of lame but that's how it connects then goes up and around through the two, through the water cooler and the actual power source, then to the front, and to the positive lug. All we gotta do now is put the regulator on and we'll be ready to roll. I just wanna show you the final assembly of this thing. Uh, this is what it looks like. Uh, one thing we're missing is the AC unit that's going to go in between here. And then we'll have this thing up and running. We're going to shoot a lot of videos here showing you the, the stuff this thing does. It's really cool stuff. So uh, thanks for watching and subscribing to TV Well.